Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Now, if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you either own a manual Volkswagen or you plan on owning one in the near future. Now, if you're like me, you got the Volkswagen and everything was good to go and you didn't think much of the shifter before you got it. After you started driving this thing, you notice that it doesn't feel as connected as it probably should be. It feels a little disengaged at times, it feels a little synthetic. Well, for me, I did a couple easy little mods, simple little tricks that are very cost effective. I've definitely improved the shifter feel of the Mano Volkswagen. Now I'm driving the Mark 7.5 GTI, six speed, of course. You got the Cobb access port right there. My experience with the vehicle, everything was great, again, except for the shifter right there that had sort of like a delay feeling to it and, and it just feels disengaged. It doesn't feel as accurate, especially on the clutch pedal down there when you try to shift the gears. So here are a few things that I did to basically improve the driving aspect of the manual Volkswagen. Now this definitely helped me out a lot and so far the car drives great. Um, definitely a lot better for when I first picked it up. So let's dive right into that. First things first, I did a dog bone insert. Now this is obviously for the transmission, uh, mainly when you're shifting under heavy load, it doesn't allow the uh, engine, or I'm sorry, the transmission to create a lot of movement in between shifts. So this is helpful because in between gears, those high RPMs under heavier load, you can get more direct and crispier shifts and it just feels a lot better. It feels a lot smoother. It cost me about like 35 bucks, brand new really easy to install i highly recommend a breaker bar if you're going to be installing it yourself yeah and there's plenty of tutorials out there to teach you how to do that anyways second thing i did was the spring removal now i think i still have it in here here it is the spring for the clutch this basically goes uh, it, it connects underneath the clutch uh pedal here you just want to remove this. It takes like five seconds to do it. It's free mod and it helps remove some of that synthetic feeling. This basically, it's supposed to help like the clutch just to be more soft and, and uh, more lighter weight. But again, if you're the driver's enthusiast and you really enjoy the driving aspects of like the manual vehicle and you really want to, you know, experience that firsthand and, and get that more like raw feeling, definitely removing the spring will give you a bigger advantage in between shifts. Basically, the main thing that I noticed after I removed this is you can definitely feel the engagement point a lot easier and it doesn't feel like, am I hitting it? Am I not hitting it? You know, you, you can definitely know when it's about to catch on the clutch uh, after selecting your gear. So something I would highly recommend, again, it takes like five seconds to remove. You're just gonna look directly under your clutch pedal. You're gonna see the spring when you depress it and when the pedal comes back up you just want to pop that off just pry it out from each end here and uh, that will go ahead and further improve the shifting feel of your manual Volkswagen now third thing that I've done is going to be the clutch stop now if you don't know what a clutch stop is it's basically a series of bushings that kind of take up extra space where the clutch pedal would land so essentially if I were to push my clutch in right now doesn't depress all the way down as it would on a stock uh, Mark 7 GTI. So it removes some of that dead travel. Now, with this vehicle having an aftermarket clutch, even after having an aftermarket clutch, the catch point is pretty high. So after engaging the clutch in, there's still all that extra room from the dead travel. It kind of slows down your shifts. And you know, again, if you're the driver, if you're the enthusiast who is trying to get more out of their manual Volkswagen, definitely doing that will help out uh, for quicker shifts and more predictable engagement point when it comes to shifting. It cost me about $10. Again, another simple mod, did it in another five minutes. Super, super simple and straightforward. I basically, uh, it came with four bushings. Uh, I removed two of them and I also snipped off the, the tip of the, of the clutch stop and went ahead and placed it underneath by the clutch pedal here. Uh, and that made a huge difference, night and day. I don't feel the dead travel anymore and 
some of you may be wondering, hey, is it harmful for the clutch? Is it going to uh, wear it down a lot quicker? To answer your question, no, not necessarily, as long as you remove enough bushings to where it is not catching right at the engagement point when you depress the pedal all the way down, which is why I removed two of the bushings just to give it enough space to where the clutch pedal is fully depressed and disengaged while shifting gears. And now bear with me here, I'm switching with my left arm, left hand, arm hand. Uh, as I'm recording this video for you guys. Anyways, back to on topic. Yeah, so it made a huge difference. These two bushings, simple and easy to install. Cost me about $10. And uh, worlds of a difference. The vehicle just picks up a little bit better now. Especially taking off from red lights, stop signs, the first gear, you can definitely get going a lot quicker. Uh, so as you can see here, let's go ahead and test it out. Removing the clutch, a little bit of gas, go, 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 and there it is. So, again, just eliminates a lot of that dead travel. Now, by doing so, doing these few simple mods, it will definitely enhance the way how your Volkswagen or manual Volkswagen drives. Uh, it's something I would highly recommend. I've had no issues with any of these mods thus far. Bonus thing, and I haven't done this yet, but I do plan on doing it very soon. The clutch delay valve delete i think what that does it's something that you would have to pop underneath the hood there to get going there's basically this little piece that you have to remove from underneath the hood move that and it's supposed to help with the shifting should allow for quicker shifts and uh, less delay in between shifts especially under higher rpms and heavier load now that's definitely something i want to get into in the near future but as of now i have not done yet so i did not want to make it become a part of this video unless i have first-hand experience with it but uh there it is guys three simple mods that i did uh including the bonus one again all of these are super simple very cost effective and definitely impact the driving experience of your manual volkswagen it's something i would highly recommend if you do have any questions feel free to drop a comment if you enjoy the video obviously give it a like and uh, i hope to see you guys on the next video and if you could let me know what did you do to improve the shifting feel or the clutch pedal feel of your manual v dub let me know in the comments down below i'll be reading them and uh, yeah any questions feel free to uh, reach out all righty guys thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you on the next one peace